Welcome everybody to Wild About Watches. Here we have the brand new Timex Automatic Marlin. I saw this advertised on the Timex website and I must admit I couldn't really resist getting this piece. It just looked quite beautiful. It's an automatic I'm rather fond of, of automatic, so you have a display back in the case. It's not a very big display, but you can see something moving in there. You've got the picture of the Marlin fish on the back, Marlin Timex. You can see it's stainless steel, designed and engineered by Timex, water resistant, 50 meters. It comes on this, I think, a rather nice leather strap. I've seen some videos that criticize and complain about Timex leather straps. Uh, this is uh, got SB Foot Tanning Company, Red Wing, Minnesota, USA. It looks, it looks a half decent strap, to be honest. You've got the Timex logo written on the, on the clasp. The numerals one through to 12, Timex automatic and Marlin written on the front. You've got a date window here at the three o'clock. And then a neat little addition over on the left-hand side at the nine o'clock you have a 24 hour sub dial. So here you can see that we are halfway through the day. Obviously daytime, 12 o'clock, coming up to one o'clock. So if you left your Rolex behind and you found yourself in a dark cave with a torch, you would know that it was daytime outside, not night time so you'd know that you should be doing your caving at one o'clock in the afternoon not trying to get to bed at one o'clock at night so the case is brushed polished it's 39 millimeters the dial is a silvery tone the case height according to timex is nine millimeters on the crown you have the word Marlin. The strap is a 20 millimeter strap with a quick release buckle. So easily comes out, easily clips back in again. Yeah. There appears to be one screw missing there. I think many of my friends and associates and uh, <laughs> What have you out there who watch my videos will know, well, Tony's got a screw loose anyway. But this is a really, really nice, cool looking watch. It's only water resistant to 50 meters, so it's not exactly, you know, <laughs> you're not exactly gonna go diving with it. You wind it up by simply rotating the crown. If you're wearing it, you know, most days, then it should be fine. Uh, it should just keep going. I believe it has a power reserve of 40 hours. Pulling the crown out one position is for the date change. Pulling the crown out to the second position hacks the watch and will allow you to change the time. I will do a separate video on, on that. It has a Japanese movement and probably possibly made in china it doesn't say that in all honesty so i can't say where it's made it really is i think a very very nice looking watch in the united kingdom it was about 250 pounds i think in the us it's about 270 dollars there is some writing on there, 21 jewels. I'm not an expert on watches, so I can't tell you whether 21 jewels is a good thing, an average thing, or a not so great thing, but that's, ooh, it's, uh, 
some things decided to we can't even see the 21 jewel thing there now oh there it is it's back again if you're looking for you know a cool neat little timex watch not too expensive automatic with some history i don't know very much about the marlin history but i think it's uh i think it's a reasonably historic piece going back a little way when you're wearing it you can occasionally feel the automatic movement operating look at that that's not too bad looking is it you know you've got a you've got a raised crystal there curved it's got a curved body that's quite pretty really look you can see here the hours and hands are loomed that's not so bad is it i think that looks half decent so if you're interested pop over to timex i don't have any links there's no affiliations or anything i just bought it and sharing with you so this is the brand new out timex marlin automatic with a 24 hour sub dial and a date window <laughs> to excuse, bloody hell, to excuse, to excuse the King Kong arm, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you can't have it all, can you? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Look, it looks good. It looks half decent, that. Please do consider liking, subscribing, posting a comment and sharing this video. And a very special thank you for watching this video to the end because that helps the channel the most along with a like and a comment. Thank you. See you next video.